Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at what to do if your hard drive is not detected. First off, what you're going to need to do is find out whether it's a hardware issue or whether it's a software issue. That is always the first thing you need to determine. So before you can start to fix your hard drive is not showing up in File Explorer, you need to determine those things. First, make sure you check all the hard drive cables to make sure they're connected properly and it has power and the hard drive is fully working and functional and it's not a failed hard drive. That's really important. Once we know that, we can go into disk management on Windows and quickly check here. As you can see, the drive is working correctly. It's a Windows-based system, and we do have a C drive showing up here. So if you have no drive letter, you might need to allocate a drive letter for that particular drive. Now, it might not be your C drive, but if it isn't, you can right-click on here and add a drive letter. It might be an E drive, a D drive, or whatever drive it is, but you won't be able to just change it to a drive letter like this on the C drive. You should have a drive letter here. But if it is another drive, try and change the drive letter or add a drive letter to that drive. Make sure the drive is online and it is working correctly like it says right here. So next up, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into our file explorer here and we're gonna quickly go up to view and then we're gonna to go to options, change folder and file options here. And what you need to do here is go to the view tab again and make sure you come down inside here where it says show drive letters. Make sure the drive has show drive letters. Otherwise the drive might not be visible to you, but once you enable this, the drive should then appear. If that is off, then you might not see your drive. So go back to File Explorer if it was off and you should then see your drive. Unfortunately, that is not the fix or the remedy for this particular issue. So we're going to move on to the next step. Now, next up, what we're going to do here is check to see whether we can explore the drive. This is important because if you can explore the drive, that means you can access the drive and see all your files and all your data. That's important because obviously if you can and the drive is starting to fail, you might want to get your data off at this stage just in case something goes wrong and the drive completely fails. If you can access the drive here, I would advise you to start pulling off your data just in case you can't repair or fix the drive and you might need to reformat the drive so you can pull the data off at this stage and make sure that you're putting it off onto an external drive or something like that. So next up, what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna quickly convert this to dynamic disk here. And we're just gonna go through here and click on convert. It will ask us to uh, convert here. It might give us an error code. It'll say, are you sure you want to convert? I'm gonna say yes here. And you can see there's not enough space available. But I'm gonna close that off. And uh, you should see the drive disappear here. But what I'm trying to do is uh, try to initiate a change to this to see whether Windows can actually bring it back. So what I'm gonna do here now is restart the system and we'll try to uh, put a drive letter in here. See if we can do that, drive letter C. It'll probably give us an error code here. I'm going to say yes, and it will probably give us an error code. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is quickly restart the system, and hopefully Windows will find the drive and give it a drive letter again, and hopefully this might make it populate inside File Explorer here. So let me go ahead and quickly restart the system, and then we'll come back and see whether Windows has uh, initiated a drive letter for it, and basically now we can see it. We'll see if that works. I don't think it will, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to quickly restart here, go back into disk management here. We should now see the drive letter has reappeared again, and that's good there. But can we actually uh, see the drive in our file explorer? Let's quickly check that and see whether it is actually populated inside there. So let's go back to file explorer here. I just want to quickly check here. I don't think it has. There we go. It's not. So there's an issue here that we need to try to work out and fix. So let me go ahead and go on to the next thing that you can try here. I'm going to right click and go to device manager inside device manager uh, and we're going to go to disk drive here and you should see your disk drive inside here and what we're going to do is right click on this and what we're going to do is scan for hardware changes we're also going to go into here and go to properties inside the properties go to driver and then what you can do is try to update the driver to see whether there's an update available for that you can also do an automatic search to see whether it can find a driver for it because there may be a new driver. You can also check the Windows updates to see whether there's any sort of fix for it, whether you can download and uh, fix it. 
Sometimes these are not really sort of helpful and they don't resolve the problem, but it's worth trying. At this stage, you might want to uninstall the actual device here and then restart the computer. What this will do is Windows will then uh, reinitiate a driver for it and basically, hopefully, populate that driver again and it might just show up in our file explorer. So that's always worth a try. So let's go ahead and take a look here now to see whether this has resolved the issue. And a presto, we do now have a drive showing up here. And that's exactly what you can try here. So again, you can always go to the manufacturer's website if it doesn't detect your drive and download the driver and reinstall it. And hopefully that will fix it if it's not your C drive. But again, we've now got a drive that has been populated but I'll show you some other things. Go into command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar and run this as administrator here and try SFC space forward slash scan now. Sometimes this will fix any sort of issues with your Windows operating system. If there's any sort of Windows files that have got corrupted some way, it will basically fix those and verify that they're working correctly. So let that run through. It does take a bit of time, but once that's done, if you do see an error code there, it will try to fix it and it will normally tell you whether it's resolved the issue here. You can see it did find uh, some corrupt files and it successfully repaired those files for us, but we meet, need to do a restart of the system. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and restart the PC, but hopefully that would fix your problem if it did come up with an issue there. Now, next up, we're going to try the troubleshoot tools. Now, running the hardware and uh, devices troubleshooter can sometimes detect issues with your hardware and try to give it the correct driver and fix it. But unfortunately, Windows 11 doesn't have it on the system anymore. They've removed it from this list. But I'll show you how we can run it on the system. It's just hidden. And this is another common problem with Windows 11. They've started to remove stuff and hide stuff, but they are still there, but you've just got them buried and they're not in the menu system anymore. But let me just show you how we can access this and run it on Windows 11. So to run it, what you'll need to do is go to start and then type in here CMD and run this as administrator. And uh, you can see here, we've got a command prompt box here. I'm gonna type out this command here and what it will do is it will open up the uh, hardware and devices troubleshooter. So you can see it on the screen there and basically type this out and push enter. And you should see the hardware and devices troubleshooter uh, pop up here. Now, once you've done this, let's run this and we'll see whether it finds any issues and we can run this on the system. You can see apply uh, repairs automatically and we're going to run this on our computer. Let it run. It does take a fair bit of time and it should try to detect these issues that we're having. Now, if it does show you any sort of issues, it will ask you what you want to do here and it will tell you whether they fix this issue. So I'm just going to let this run through. Now, it's told me that the device install settings as Windows is not currently set to check for the most up-to-date drivers. Now, this could be an issue where there is an update available, which will come down in my Windows updates. So I'm going to enable this feature, and it may come down and fix that issue. So if you still have this issue and you haven't got that enabled, then definitely enable that feature because it might fix and resolve your problem. It might be a known uh, bug that Windows has fixed, and you're probably blocking it by not enabling that feature. So we're going to allow that to go through and download all of those settings and basically uh, detect. You can see Windows Update Configuration Never Installed Drivers has been fixed. So we've now got that done and you want to check your Windows updates once you've done that. Next up, what we're going to do here now is going to go to restart and restart our PC again. Now, if you're still having issues after you've restarted your PC and it's still not working, then what you can do is try to back up your data from that drive using the Explorer there. If it doesn't work and you still can't gain access to your drive, you might need to do some sort of recovery on that data there and then obviously reinstall Windows. There is a couple of other things you can try, but I'll quickly show you uh, some of those here. You do need to make sure the drive is functional and it is working because otherwise all of this stuff you're doing here is not going to benefit you. You can go up to Explorer here where it says this PC and you can just type in here C colon backslash and then push enter and this will give you access to the drive as well where you can then go to your uh, precious documents and back those up to an external drive or something like that if your data is on that drive so just check that out and uh, try and copy all your data over you can also use backup software if it recognizes the drive 
it might be able to back up that data if it can see the drive. If it can't and, it, and it's having issues, then obviously you'll have to find other ways to recover your data. And sometimes data recovery software can actually do that for you. Next up, what we're going to do here is click on settings here. You might want to try to create a new user account for your PC. So just go into the account section here and go into the uh, user accounts, which is family and other users, and create an administrator account for yourself. And then hopefully restart and log into that account. It will build that account for you and hopefully you'll be able to see your drive again and then you can access all your data or you can just delete the old user account and use that new one and hopefully that will resolve your issue. Anyway, that is what to do if your hard drive is not detected or not showing up on your computer. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you've got any video requests, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to read your comments. Anyway, just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video. I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.